All right. Hey guys, it's Angela and I got my husband Mark with me. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> He's man in chat today, as usual. Thank you for joining us for our website release party. We're super excited to share this with you. This has been a long time coming, over a year of uh, moving links, uh, changing video places, and all kinds of stuff went into it. It's crazy. We had a team helping us, and we're, so we're going to introduce you to the people who help us do what we do on a weekly basis. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. First thing we want to do is show you around our studio a little bit, let you see kind of where we do what we do. And then we're going to introduce you to our team and then we'll get to our website and have some giveaway goodies. We've got some brush sets and some, um, what else did we have? Oh, a couple paintings. Yeah. <laughs> In case anybody's interested in that, I don't know. Um, we like art around here. So uh, yeah, let's get going here. We'll show you around the studio real quick. I'm gonna need to see the video while you do it so cool. I can talk over it. Okay, let me move this over here. Very there good. Go. Let's do it. There's a little Fitz pickle. So there's where the pets go. And that's kind of the back side of the studio where I have some storage things. That's kind of the extra things that I, extra storage. And then here coming around is where I sit. You can see I have a monitor there and my painting right there. And then above me is the camera, side cam, um, or palette cam, my microphone. Some of that should be familiar. And then zooming around to the side there, you can see where Mark sits. He's got two monitors. One is for chatting and the other one is to monitor the stream. And then that's kind of just our extra storage, things people have sent us, copier, that kind of thing. Things that I don't particularly need to paint. Uh, normally I don't have so much clutter right around. I, I kind of have a lot of pencils and things right near me there um, that are usually kind of off to the side, but I use them for the mixed media stuff. Got all kinds of fun little goodies. I like to have kind of a colorful, kind of cluttered <laughs> workspace. It just makes me feel more energized and uh, more creative, I guess. Um, back there we have some, some long-term storage, things like stamping materials, papers, and other things, and some canvas canvases set up there. We have a, most of our paintings in a separate room because we have over probably 500, 600 paintings in the house. Um, but yeah, there's kind of what we do. I think I'm swinging around. I don't know what I'm showing you here. Oh, I guess the other side there. This It's not very... Organ well organized. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Some watercolor stuff and things. I've got a lot of supplies. Um, but yeah, and then there's the door out to the living room and our closet, which I'm not going to show you because it's a total, total mess, but it's got extra storage and things like that in there. So anyhow, there's our, there's our studio. Little peek around, not to uh, not too deep. I kind of did one that was like five minutes and then I was like, ah, that's too long. <laughs> we'll just do it a little quicker, quicker. But um, if you're interested in a deeper dive around the studio, um, I'm happy to do that at some point. Um, but okay, let's do our first giveaway. So for a Princeton brush set, here we go. Um, and this is to anybody anywhere in the world, Ho hopefully not to too far because it's going to cost more than the brushes <laughs> to send it, but we'll see, hopefully. Um, not that I'm hoping that this is a U.S. person, I'm just saying. <laughs> not. <laughs> what do our grandkids call us? Ooh, it's something, it's, it's on my website about me page. So if you are already on there, um, I would suggest opening up that website, uh, uh, on a separate device or tablet while we're doing this because we're going to have some questions that relate to the website that are on the website. So um, anyhow, uh, all right, so that's the first one. So 
All right, let's go ahead and while we're waiting on the winner there, let's go ahead and show you one of our newest employees, Ben. He um, is a friend of my, my boys. I met him because I know his mom and dad. They own the, our favorite yeah, restaurant in town. What? We have a winner. We have a winner. Patty. Congratulations, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll put that on a uh, sticker with Patty's name on there. And Patty, send me an email. Um, the My email address is down in the description of the video. Um, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and show Ben's video. Hey everybody, my name is Ben Eslick. I am the video editor slash content creator for Angela and all of her various social media channels. And I'm making this video just so you can get to know me a little bit better. A little bit about me, I live in a little town called Ozark, Arkansas with my wife and dog. Uh, along with being a video editor, I'm also a filmmaker, an animator, and a musician. And when I'm not doing any of those things, I'm usually enjoying the great outdoors or I'm watching movies with my wife. <laughs> I've known Angela for pretty much my entire life. Uh, we went to the same church growing up. I was really good friends with both of her sons. A funny memory Angela and I actually like to talk about is uh, when I was maybe around 13, I was over at her house for a birthday party and we got in trouble with the neighbors for ding-dong ditching. And uh, I thought Angela and Mark were gonna be really mad but they ended up being really cool about it. And I was like, okay, that's that's really cool. She, uh, you know, they, they would probably make really good bosses one day. And uh, sure enough, here we are. I started making content for Angela about a year and a half ago. I make all of her reels, all of her YouTube shorts, all of her TikToks, uh, her YouTube time lapses, pretty much all of the content you see, except for the tutorials themselves I make. I also designed her latest uh, intro. I really love this job. I love working for Angela. I feel like I've learned a ton about art uh, over the course of, of working for her. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you better. And thank you for welcoming me to the team. Super talented guy. I am so excited to have Ben on our team. We actually tried to hire him first. <laughs> No offense to Brennan, he, he knows the story, <laughs> but Ben already had a job and he couldn't take it at the time. And so uh, he, ref he referred us to Brennan, who um, has been with us for four years. Ben's been working us with us for about a year and a half. Um, so Brennan came on and he's been amazing. He has helped me so much. It's, it's cut my time um, in almost in half really, or more. Um, as far as like the social media work. So now I can go in and just comment and reply to patrons and then do the creative stuff that I want to do. And ben, Brennan um, does all of the, just the behind the scenes, the newsletter and the posting on social media and things like that. But if you, if you get a comment from me, 99% um, of the time is going to be from me directly. Um, so he frees me up to be able to do that. It's amazing. He's so great. He's got the most cheerful personality that you've ever met and um, is just a, the nicest guy. So check out Brennan here. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's up? My name's Brennan, and I'm the marketing manager for the Thankful Art team. I've been working for Angela and Mark for about four years, and my work can range anywhere from graphic design to updating stuff like the website and even making songs like this one. little bit of backstory on me. I was born and raised in Clarksville, Arkansas, and was super lucky to be invited to study songwriting at the Interlochen Arts Academy. Ended up at the Berklee College of Music, and since then I've traveled around a ton, and eventually started a band with Ben, who introduced me to Angela and Mark, and that's how I got the job. My partner Kate and I celebrated our 10-year anniversary in July. We live in Nashville, and we make lots of coffee. Katie makes music as well. She's in a band called The Accidentals. 
We're both really excited about the new website and just excited to see how it can streamline things for everybody. And yeah, super awesome to meet y'all. Hope you have a nice day. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to work, so bye. All right, so there you go. You can see how much, why I love working with these guys. They're so great. They remind me of my boys. They're more like my kids, even though they're like in their 30s, I still feel like they're my um, uh, surrogate uh, sons. <laughs> so um, really, really great to have them on my team. They are so talented and I'm so lucky to have them working for us. I, I know they're going to go on to do huge things. Ben in particular is working on a movie right now. Um, so on down in the description, there's links to check out, um, their, their stuff. Also down in the description is a link to my brother, Josh Walker. Um, he, um, is working on, um, as well as doing my website. He did the whole, the whole thing. Um, we had a design team come in, um, and helped, uh, design the website, but Josh did all the bare bones, um, work and he's done the integration with Patreon, which was the number one reason why we wanted this website in the first place because we've got all kinds of fun perks and things for our patrons, traceables and reference photos and extra bonus videos and things like that. And it was really hard for my patrons to find them and to get the stuff from YouTube as well. So this website combines all of my videos. Every single one of them is on the website and it includes any traceable or reference photo or anything else that goes along with that video. We've put them all together. It was literally like over 5,000 links to different um, images and, and videos and things that Ben in particular helped us work on the spreadsheet. Mark did some of that work too. Um, and Joshua compiled, my brother Josh compiled them all and made this huge like beautiful, wonderful website with amazing search engine. Um, and so I think it's just going to make it so much easier for y'all to find what we're working on. And if you're looking for a resource, it's going to be just so much easier to just go there, search it, find it, and everything is going to be right there on the website. So I'm so excited. I cannot tell you how <laughs> relieved because most of the correspondence that I have with my patrons um, is I can't find XYZ. And um, it's just been a problem ever since I started with Patreon in 2017. They're great at what they do. They're amazing. Patreon has been very good to me. I love them. Um, but their website is not great for finding stuff just in general. And that's kind of a known problem. So um, their search engine is not good. And um, the way they're doing their posting is just basically blog style. So it's just like long scrolling. You just can't really find anything very easily. Um, so this website, it, we developed it custom just to solve that particular problem. It was like, I want my patrons to be able to find what they're looking for very easily, make it clean and simple. So um, this, is, this website is what uh, came out of that um, search. So Josh's um, information is also down in the description. He's been incredible. And um, he will be the person going forward who will help if any technical issues arrive um, or arise or whatever. Um, and you can also still patrons can get a hold of me on my um, Patreon, whatever. I'll still be posting on Patreon too. So, um, all right. So let's do another giveaway. Let's say if you're on the website, look up. <clears throat> Have we been to the website yet? Oh, that's true. We should do this one. Last. Okay, let's do this. How long have I been making videos on YouTube? I don't think we've talked about this. We've mentioned it a couple of times, but how there's two answers. One is how, when my first video came out, so we'll accept that one. Um, and then also when I first started my first tutorial, an actual voiceover tutorial teaching how to do whatever. So has anybody got it? We have 2013. Yes. Yes. That was, that was what I was looking for. So 2013 was the yeah. very, very first YouTube video that we, that tutorial. So I actually, where I was actually teaching, we had a couple years prior to that. I had some videos that just showed kind of the process with some music, but 
2013 um, was the date um, in May specifically. Um, so we just had our 10 year anniversary on YouTube of doing YouTube tutorials and teaching painting. And the whole reason that I started doing that is because um, I didn't see anybody teaching what I was doing. And at first I was kind of, um, well, you know, you, you've worked so long. I had been teaching or teaching local, you know, kids classes and things. And, um, you know, my classes were $15 a lesson, you know, or more at the time. Um, and here I was going to give them away for free, you know, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> and, um, so I was a little bit hesitant to do it at first, but I was like, I don't know. I, I need this information. Like I wanted, and I, and, and I, I, when I was first learning to paint, I had to buy books and, um, you know, get help from other artists and things like that. There just wasn't anything like YouTube out there at the time. And very few artists were actually starting to teach on YouTube back in 2013 or 2012, you know, when I, when I was doing it. So, um, anyhow, it's just been an amazing journey. And the, the, the way that our channel has grown over the years has just been so incredible. I could have never, when I posted my first video <laughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> I could have never imagined how much it would change our lives. It has literally changed our lives for the better in so many ways. And you guys are all part of that who watch our videos and support us. It's just been incredible. And I wanted to say also thank you to our patrons because without you guys, we would not be able to do what we do on YouTube. We would not be able to be affording this massive website that that we undertook um, to do. Um, it's all for you and because of you. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We um, are so appreciative of you, you guys. All right. Phew, I'm going to start crying if I start. <laughs> okay, so um, for a painting, let's see. Did we? So we've done both of the brushes. So let's so, do... Okay, so that, we changed that question to brushes. What was it supposed to be? The painting. Oh, was it for a painting? Yeah, that's what you had listed, but we can do it as a brush. I thought I said it was for another brush set. Okay. Did I not? What does Carol want? Do you, does she want a painting or a brush set? Carol, what do you want? <laughs> so this one, one or the other will be the next one that we do. So let Carol decide what she wants um, from the last giveaway. And then um, we're going to give away one of these. I have three of these little mini paintings that I've done. So she wants the brushes. Okay. okay. I thought I, that's what I, I thought. I was giving it. All right. So. Um, okay. Painting. For the little painting, a um, little postcard painting, I'll even write on the back. Um, this is, what are our team member names? Ooh. We just talked about them. Just so, <laughs> what are their names? Two oh, guys. And one of them's in chat, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Their names start with B. <laughs> And I guess if I hire anybody else, it's going to... We got Ben, Brennan, and so Carol Blackon has Brennan, Josh, and Ben. Oh, she got all three. All right. Nice. All right, see. Good job, Carol. This is a different person than when the brush is, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Very good. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the... Uh, I was I was joking with Mark. It was like we're gonna have to hire a, a Brad or a, a somebody somebody like that if we hire another. It's gonna have to be a B name. Maybe we'll hire a girl. So maybe it'll. Uh, who knows? Husband, I guess. <laughs> no. <The> B name. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Speaking of husbands, here we got another painting. Oh. There's a little one. What is Mark's nickname? On the channel. What do we call him? Bonus points if you know why. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little painting. Yeah, Kathy Smith. Kathy, yay. I might give bonus points to Donna for Stuckman. <laughs> <laughs> Did she spell it wrong? Yeah. Well, no. She was first, but she spelled no, it wrong? No, Kathy. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Okay, we'll do we'll do one more at the very end, but let's go ahead and get in on the website here. So. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me what? move this out of the way. Yep. So we don't see that. And then let me press this button. All right. So here we are. Here's a new website. It's thankfulart.com. So just go there. And it's got a little about me. We're probably going to change this landing page a little bit because it's um, it's we're going to add some other features to it, but it kind of shows a little bit about our tiers and has a little testimonial section. Uh, it's got a little newsletter section down here at the end. Just ignore this for now, but hopefully in a little bit it'll have, it'll be working. It's not working quite right right now. So if you want to sign up for our newsletter, where you go is Patreon to do that. It's got a free membership um, level. And so you can sign up for the free membership level there and it will, um, collect your email and you'll be, able, we'll, we'll be able to get our newsletter that way for now. And then eventually this will be working. You can join up. We've, we've been just trying to get the Patreon integration literally up until last night we had issues. So, so we have just been working tirelessly just to get, the integration working properly and it is working now and it looks like everybody has access that should have access and uh so yeah it's it's great so um down here you can see there's a little shop become a member a blog so this is my old blog but eventually we're going to be adding a new blog to this um, and it'll be right here on the website and then the about angela page that we're on right now and then the social media links down here um, so if you go up to the top, this is where the fun is. So you're going to... So what's the address? I already said that, thankfulart.com. Just name it. Um, you sign in right here, and it is going to ask for your email address. I've already added um, um, mine in here previously, so it's and I've already logged in on this computer to Patreon. But if I was logged out of Patreon, um, it would ask me for my Patreon login information. So you would enter the email address and your password from Patreon, and then you click on allow here, and it's going to connect to Patreon. So what that does is open up all of the goodies on the website. So now if you are a patron um, and you see this little icon here, can they see my cursor where I'm circling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so this is the website. Look how nice and clean it is. This includes every single video that we've ever done, <laughs> pretty much. We have a couple of side projects that aren't here on here, but pretty much most every single video is on here. Now it says one of two pages. That is um, not true. It's a it's a loading issue, so we had to do it this way um, so that the images would load faster. But if you click one by one, you can see the numbers just continue to increase as you keep clicking. It'll go up to 25. I think there's at least 25 pages. That's as far as I've gotten. So if you don't want to click endlessly um, like this and you want to say, okay, I like um, these boho animal videos, um, you click on one of them. If you are a patron and if you are signed in, you can see up here, you can see the Patreon details and it'll show you how much your pledge is. Um, it will show up the video right here in the um, player and you'll be able to watch the whole video right here. You can also op open it up to full screen if you wanna watch full screen. Vimeo has got a wonderful um, playback um, system. So um, really fun and um, you can even like the video if you want to up in the upper corner. And there's closed captions. And there's closed captions too, yes. Closed captions, um, all kinds of great stuff. There's even a transcript if you want to read what we're doing <laughs> off the side here, which I, you know, it, it may or may not be completely correct. Obviously, you know, um, it's an interpretation, but um, auto-generated. Um, so you can see it's got the finished painting. You can click on see that. It's also got the reference photo right there. And then right here, you can click on for traceable. And then with the traceable, you'll just have to right click and save the image to your um, device. Um, and then the other thing that we have is it'll take you to the Patreon post. So if you want to go there and see um, the list of materials, usually we had a materials list and things like that on the Patreon post. So you can go there to see that. It's also going to have the traceables 
um, on the Patreon post and um, other links. Now you can see it still has the old Crowdcast links. The Crowdcast um, links will not uh, are have have been not working properly. So we've um, changed all of these to the Vimeo links. Brennan has had to go back in and changed all of them. They should have the Vimeo links um, in there, and we're in the process of embedding all the Vimeo links directly onto Patreon as well. But you should not have to do that. If you go to my website and you log in, it should allow you to watch all of these videos straight from here. Okay, if you're a, a patron, a current um, patron. Um, and even if you're not, so say if we've got a Bumble, the Bumblebee video, this is one of our public videos um, on YouTube. If you click on watch the video, it'll take you to the YouTube page um, and you can watch the video from YouTube. Um, all right. And then it also has the Patreon post, traceable reference photos and all that for all of our videos. So say you want to see other bees. Um, or you know insects say there's the little tags there I don't know if you saw that but um, I clicked on the little tag and it put the insect up here in the search box um, and you can see then other insect videos that we've done um, it looks like we've just got one page of them on here now these are um, dependent on what we um, what we put in the title and the tags. So if you're looking for a word and it's not in the title or tags, it's not going to show up on the search. So um, I'd like for you guys while we're doing this um, for the people in chat to throw out um, something that you would like to see me search for. And I'll show you kind of how to do a deep dive to find particular videos. So maybe one that you're working on right now, um, something like that. And I will um, kind of do a little deeper dive and show you kind of how that works because some of these may not show up, um, you know, always. So uh, again, we're still adding tags and trying to make sure that we've um, done everything. We had an amazing group of my um, patrons who helped me with that. Um, if Mark, I don't know if you want to put that rolling um, thing on top of this. Can I, can you play that rolling list of names uh, of ladies? This is, these are the ladies that helped me do um, the testing. So they um, each got assigned 10 videos and they went to the website. They added tags for the videos. They checked all the links and made sure everything played right, checked the traceables. And there were a lot of broken, <laughs> a lot of broken links and things. Um, so there we go. Here's the name scrolling on there of those ladies. So thank you to them. They did an amazing job and they made the search engine know kind of what to look for when we were um, searching. So do we have any suggestions for what to look for? Um, also up here, there's all, there's also f just the free stuff. So if you don't have a Patreon membership and you just want to see what's available for free, there's that. And then there's premium that shows all of just the premium videos. Now, right now we don't have the Patreon bonus video, the $5 level and the $10 level, um, separated, um, so they're all going to just show the crown. But if you if you look at the title, the title of the $5 level are going to be bonus, have bonus in the title. And the $10 level is going to have challenge in the title. So that's how you kind of can tell the difference. Um, so let's see. Horse, you said? Yeah. So let's type in horse. We know beach also. Okay. We'll do that next. So there's all our horse videos. It also included seahorse. So that's a nice thing about this search engine is if it's part of another word, it will also um, bring it up. So it it's very, very thorough and very smart too. So beach, here we go. So here's all the beach. And this will be, again, all the videos that either have beach in the title or had beach added as a tag. Um, 
so, oops, go back. Let's see if it'll go back. No, nope. let me go here. It does have a few little quirks like this, like it doesn't want to go back sometimes. Oh, there we go. I had to go back up here, not down here. Um, so uh, again, it's still not perfect, but it is a thousand times better than what we have right now. I mean, can you search by beginner? Yes. Yeah, we can do by beginner. And again, it'll be if we added beginner in the title or if it had beginner um, in one of the tags. So, but these would be all of the, so you can see all the ones that had the beginner series um, listed. There's seven pages of beginner videos in here. Um, and then if you like one and you're like, ooh, I like the owls, um, you can look up here and then click on, well, we don't have the tag. We probably need to have this as a tag for owl so that you can also find the other owl videos, but then you can just type in owl up there and it'll show you all the owl ones and even these old, old ones from way back in 2015. Um, I know it's like, whoa, yeah. it's been pretty cool seeing the uh, progression of our um, channel um, and just the different ones that we've done, you know, I don't know why the mandarin duck showed up as an owl, but it's okay. Oh, probably because it says water fowl. See? Oh, owl. So, owl. yeah, fowl. Uh-huh. So that's why. Can you search by date? Not yet. Okay. So we will be adding that. That is a feature that we plan on adding in future, but it is not something that we have currently. So, um, but yes, we will be adding that um, hopefully soon. All of the videos are dated but the search doesn't pick up the date right now. So, um, but that is something, one of the very next things that Josh is going to be adding is the date function on here. So, um, anyhow, let me show you. So mm -hmm. we, we talked about barn what? also barn. Okay. But oops, I spelled it wrong. B -b -b barn. Barn. There we go. Barn owl. And it's got the barn owl, right. Mm -hmm. And it's got the sheep farmhouse the sheep. Uh-huh. And um, if you go to one of these and you click on farm or the tag for farm, it'll also oh. have, you know, farm, anything that says farm animals, um, different things like that. So, again, we're still adding tags and still perfecting the search. Um, but my goodness, it is so much. It's light years better than what um, we had before. So. Um, and just the fact that you can watch these videos directly in browser and have all of the resources here. Now, let me show you this because this is important. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess that one didn't have. Okay. So this is a current one that we're working on right now. So this is the garden bird feeders, um, that is still currently in process. So, and while a video is either, um, upcoming or, um, in progress um, as a series, you're going to see the reference photo in the thumbnail. So you can see that this is not the finished painting, it's a reference photo. So you'll see the upcoming um, video for this week show up up here and it'll be the um, just the reference photo and it'll have the link to the video. Um, and then after the video, we'll be adding the traceables and things like that. I'm not sure why this one doesn't have its traceable. It should have the traceable. Um, we'll have to add that to it, but, um, the Patreon post will have the traceable already. So, um, you can see the traceable is down here, right here in the Patreon post. So if you don't find it on the website for when, uh, whatever reason, you can still find it there, but down here, um, and we're probably going to redesign this because it's a little bit clunky right now. But right here, if you can see, when you first start up, it'll say part one. And then you can go down here and go on video two, and it'll be part two up here, and three, and so forth. And it, it will have all of the sessions for all of these videos all in one place. So you can go in and watch them and see... Um, uh, you know, see them all in one place, super easy to find. That's the main thing. It was just, that was the number one uh, mandate for this new website was make it easy for you guys to find things. And this, so this answered all of those problems that we were having. And um, yeah. Can you search for tank? Uh, yes, I can. 
right. So all I need to one. talk to the people that helped you do all the testing and all the tagging because they should have put all the other keywords into this one Military. video. Fire. So if you're, there we go. There's fire. If you're searching for <laughs> duck, you'd get the tank video. If you're searching for <laughs> sheep, you'd get the tank video. <gasps> You you should have been a tester. Uh, well, you should have helped us out here. Somebody did, somebody didn't invite me. <laughs> Something about good spellers. Good spellers. Were, were needed. <laughs> I literally did call Mark out and say, yes. "Not you, Mark." Exactly. <laughs> hey, real quick, can you show how do you sign up for the free level? Yeah, let's do that. So um, it would be, if you go to the about section, I think, or maybe name, well, no, actually, if you just go to learn more or go to click on any of the Patreon videos, if you're not logged in, it will take you to my Patreon homepage right here. And um, how did you do this? How did you do the free thing? How did I do it? Uh-huh. When you signed up. I know. It should be down here, I thought. So, well, no, because when... On your website. Oh, see, because I'm logged in. That's yeah, why it's not showing log, up. You have to log out. Okay. Let me... Uh, well, if I log out, go, then I won't be able to do the we'll website. Go, we'll go back. Uh-huh. Go back to your website. Okay. And just log out from there. No, it doesn't log me out of Patreon. I have to be oh, logged out of okay. Patreon. All right. Let me go ahead and so, log out. Okay. So let's try that again. So I'm going to see it. Now it says sign in. So I'm not signed in anymore. Right. So when I go to the tutorials um, and try to watch this one, it'll say upgrade for access. So I'll click on that. It'll take me to my Patreon page. And then down, well. Uh, I thought on your website it had a free level. Well, it does. Um, it's supposed to be down here, I thought. I don't know where it is. Well, it's good that we're doing this now. Yeah, it is. It is. Um... Well, we will have the, the login um, probably next week. So if you're not part of our newsletter and you haven't, so don't on, have the on free. Your, on your Thankful Art website, if you scroll down, it says become a free, a free account member. Where? In the about? Like scroll down. Right. right. Watch free tutorials now, but it takes you to the tutorials page. Oh, okay. Um, no, we, and this is not working right now, this, this newsletter sign up. So, um, there should be, didn't you do a free level on Patreon the other day? I thought maybe I did. Did you not? I think I hit that, that one down there thinking it was doing it. Oh, okay. I think I hit that button there and it just pushed me into that, so obviously not. No. Okay, because I couldn't find you on, on Patreon. All right, well, we'll get that figured out this week. I'm so sorry, and I yeah, I wish that I had a place. But what you can do is send me an email <laughs> directly. <laughs> it's clunky, but um, I do have a, a email listed down in the description of this video, um, and you can go down there and um, contact me directly there if you want to be added to our, our newsletter. Um, and we'll be sure to, to get you signed up for it. We're, we're currently, that's one of the things that the new website does not have is the email newsletter. So we're having to transfer all of our newsletter contacts to a different spot. And, um, but if you go in and log in on Patreon, create an account, um, what happens is it'll give you the option to, um, uh, I have an authentication code here I have to add in. It doesn't matter the code. It's on one-time use code. Um, all right. Um, but what you can do is go up into, um, so like say I'm going to find a creator here. And um, I don't know who, her art with flow. I followed her before. She does digital art. So you can go in here and you can go to this little bot button right here, this thing, and hit follow. And if you follow the um, artist, then you get their newsletter. So that's what you'll want to do on my page. You go up to it. I don't know why it wasn't showing it on my page for me, but you should have this little three button thing. And it's gone now, so probably because I was following myself already. I don't know. Um, who knows? <laughs> 
but but yeah all right so any other questions um so this video will be accessible later the one that we're doing right yes. now yes yes it will and yeah, we're going to leave it up, and we're probably going to post it on Patreon so that right. people can find it easily. And yes, we are keeping Patreon. Yes, we it's, are. It is the way that they will support the channel still. Yes. Because we're not collecting anybody's personal financial information ourselves, no. so we're right. having a company that does that professionally. Right. Um, the chat was going so fast, I'm sure I missed something. But this, this integrates seamlessly with right. Patreon, so you should be able to get anything that... Um, you know, we've marked certain content for patrons only. So things like the traceables and things like that, you have to sign in for downloads. That's what you'll see when you um, click on any anything here. And then I'm going to connect it again. Well, it does this sometimes. It's no big deal. Just go home and then go back to the tutorial, find that one again. And now it's got the traceable right there for, for me. Okay. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, hopefully that made sense. Um, hopefully you'll find this super easy and, um, frustration free. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the goal. If you have, if you're a patron and you have any issues, first thing to do is log out of Patreon completely and then log back in from my website. So that will push you through the whole process. It'll connect you to Patreon and refresh the website so that it should reboot and work properly ap after that. Um, so, and if you change your level on Patreon or support us at a higher level and it's not showing up on the website, do the same thing. Log out of Patreon, then go to the website and log in there and it'll connect it at the new level. So, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, so we will be streaming our normal YouTube videos, our free videos Tuesday nights on YouTube. Yes. They will remain on YouTube. Yes. But there will be a link in this website and when you click on that link it will take you to YouTube. Right. Right. Okay. It'll be just right. like this. It'll yeah. say watch video so, and you click on it it'll take you to the YouTube video. Right. So you can either go to YouTube and search like you have been for, right. for years or you can access it this way. Yeah. You click on my name and it'll have the upcoming videos or um, whatever I need to add the one for this next week up here. We've been adding them last minute just because of the way that YouTube shares our videos with people. Um, we used to like put our whole month ahead of time, but if you're ever like, what is coming up next, go to the community tab here and, um, we always post our schedule. So this is our schedule for, um, nope, that's, that was that other one. This is the schedule for this upcoming month and it'll tell you the dates. And as we add the links, Brennan adds the links in here to the post um, so that they're all in here and you can find them easily. So you can see we're going to be painting a seascape on Tuesday. Okay. So. Now for the bonus content and the challenge content, right? where will they be logging in and watching that live stream? Those live streams will, there will be a, um, there will be a video here, but you're going to want to go to the pa Patreon post. There won't be the video link until after the video is published because we're doing those on YouTube unlisted. So there's a special link that's posted on Patreon. So you're going to want to find the Patreon post. Patreon post will be linked on the website. So you can still go to the website. You just won't be able to play the video or watch it live um, until after it's finished. So usually right after it's finished, we'll upload it to Vimeo and pop it into the website. Eventually, we're going to probably do... Um, a live stream directly onto Patreon because Patreon does have an integration with with Vimeo, but I this was enough for right now. <laughs> I did not okay. want to add one more new thing. So, so if you go here, it will have a link to the live stream in here with the video just before the video airs. Um, this one is going to be, uh, it's weird the way it does it on Patreon because it's like invisible. It just shows a little box there, but then you'll be able to play the Vimeo video. But prior to this video, the link had the, the unlisted YouTube video link. Um, it'll also be posted on Patreon. So you'll definitely want to stay up to date on your Patreon login, make sure that you've got that all um, working so that you can find those 
those unlisted video links as we post them ahead of time. Okay, so I just want to go through that one more time from the top. Mm -hmm. So I've gone to your website. I've logged in to Patreon. Right. I have found the series that I want to watch. I open that. Right. And then I, where do I click next to watch the live video that's happening today, for example? So if it's on YouTube... And it's a public video. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's a live stream $10 challenge image. $10 challenge yeah. image. Okay. So, so the, for the there, next right. one of these, yep. they're going to go to the Patreon post. Okay. So they click there. Okay. Right. And it'll have, I'm not going to show those because right. it's the, it's the, but it'll have the unlisted links okay, down perfect. here in the de- description right. so that they can find them and watch them. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. And then when they're finished, then they just can watch it directly from right. the website. When the, vi- when the video is finished airing and it's yeah, not no longer okay. live, it'll be right there on the perfect. website to watch. But yeah, the, the live streams don't integrate with the website yet. Maybe eventually, but we don't have the chatting or anything either. So I don't think it would be the same. So, um, for now, and eventually we're also working on getting the YouTube videos integrated so that you can watch directly in the player window as well. Um, that is not a thing yet, but it's, we're working on getting that, um, so that you can watch all the YouTube videos directly on the website as well. Although I think that YouTube doesn't count those views though. If you, (laughs) if you play from an embedded player, it doesn't play them. So, or we don't, we don't, they don't count the view, but anyhow. Yeah. All right. I hope that's, that's good. Um, So of course, you know, as people use the website and it's, you know, for sure, somebody's going to find something that we missed or was missed. So, Please just let us know. Um, yes, absolutely. Again, thanks to everybody who's over the last four or five months have gotten us to this point to it running as smoothly as it is. Right. Oh, for sure. There's ways that we weren't using it or thinking, and then you guys did something and it didn't work, and we fixed it. Right. So. Yeah. It's it's helped us tremendously to be able to um, to be able to to um, have the help (laughs) (laughs) we could not have done this without all of the people helping us so it's and uh, it's been amazing to me to we can go back to the to the screen so we can talk to them i think um it's been amazing to me too just how many videos we've done (laughs) because we're you know i'm always like on to the next thing i'm always looking for the next thing to do and to paint and i'm not i don't sit around looking at what i've already done you know i'm always like just thinking about ooh, what's next to paint and um so this has been really fun and entertaining for me to get to see my gosh we've done a lot of art (laughs) like we've done a lot of videos and painted a lot of things together and it's just it's kind of been really cool to see that and to see the progression from the really really easy stuff that I first did to the more complicated things that I get to do with my patrons and everything in between and I'm still like I just did a poll and people are saying they want more beginner content so probably going to be doing more beginner stuff on Tuesday nights um again um but yeah it's uh, in and doing the more complicated things for my patrons, um, like we have been doing, um, more realistic stuff. I'm not going to get rid of the realistic stuff though. That's just me. Um, I like it. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're constantly changing, really do listen to you guys as an audience, try to give you what you need for your artistic journey. As long as it aligns with what we like to do. <laughs> you know, I'm never going to be a portrait artist. I'm sorry. It's just not going to be my thing. So, um, there's a lot of great portrait artists out there, but, um, but yeah. All right. So one last question, what is my favorite thing to paint? I've got one more painting. I'm not going to show it. It's, it's a mystery. Um, what is my favorite thing to paint? Um, I'll give you a clue. It's on the painting. <laughs> <laughs> That I'm not showing. If you look, scroll through my website. Oh, we got we got flowers are flying all <laughs> off the place here. Deidre. Flowers, Deidre. All Deidre right, <laughs> Deidre, you know me well. All right, so you get that little little postcard with some poppies on it. Um, 
Very cool. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you guys so much. So this has been what? We have. Um, oh, did Brennan have the name for the? the I haven't seen it. So. <sighs> Let me see. Um, if we, I guess we can just send it out in an email to the person. I wanted to announce it, okay. um, here, uh, we sent out an email. Um, yesterday <laughs> about it and, um, it was including a, um, one-on-one -on -one zoom call with me, which is what I do with my hundred dollar level patrons, the angel level. Um, we get together once a month and they send me whatever they've been working on. And I send, I sit down with them and kind of help sketch out, um, maybe some suggested changes or talk to them about their art journey things that they want to accomplish and, um, whatever. So we, it's pretty much like, you get to choose what we, we talk about. If you just want to talk about the pets, um, that's fine too. Um, so 30 minutes of just like a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Um, and that was one of the things that we were going to give away today. Uh, yes. One second. Okay. Brennan's picking that name right now. Ooh, He's so picking exciting. the name. <laughs> he, he was in chat earlier, so he can just post it directly there. Ah, yeah. Yeah. But again, so cool. I think we say it a lot, but we truly do mean we really, 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 really appreciate all the support and love from day one on mm -hmm. Patreon. Yeah. I mean, from the first month, you guys blew us away and exceeded all ex expectations. We met our first goal on Patreon in two weeks. Yeah. Like, we had no expectations or, you know, anything. And we had been giving away everything for free for you know, five plus years at that point. And so, mm -hmm. um, you guys were just <laughs> willing and so enthusiastic about helping support us, which just meant the world to us. It's just pretty, yeah, amazing, mind blowing, really. I mean, I honestly had no, um, expectations at all, but I find that there's a lot of channels on YouTube. There's a lot of choices on YouTube, a lot of different artists and artist styles and mediums and all kinds of things. And it means the world to us that you guys choose to watch us and to come back week after week and to support us and to, um, you know, get involved in our lives and know our pets names. And speaking of, um, we were going to do an Amazon card, right? Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. What's our pets names? Ooh, a bonus <laughs> question. Our $25 Amazon card. <laughs> This yeah, is to watching, help you buy I'm some, watching. maybe buy some colored pencils and do some, do some mixed media work with me. <laughs> we got Sally L with cashmere and, and frizz. <laughs> and, and then we have a Ritz pickle. <laughs> I'm going to go. So with, close. I'm going to go with Sally. Okay. Sally is close it's enough. Sally it's Fitz pickle. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a hard, <laughs> it's a made up name. <laughs> It is a completely made up but, word. But, <laughs> so. but sorry, Sally, you will not be asked to help tag videos in the future. <laughs> Join the club. You and Mark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bad spellers untie. <laughs> exactly. Um, we <laughs> be sure if you've won anything to contact me, my link or my um Email is down in the description, so be sure to email me with your contact information if you need. Um, if just for the gift card, I just need your email address that you want the gift card sent to. But for um, any physical prizes, and the paintings and the brush sets, um, be sure to send me your address. So. And we have a winner for Yay. the consultation, and that is Joyce Ward. Joyce Ward, congratulations. So Joyce, uh, again, contact me down in the description we'll set up a time and we'll have our little chat one-on-one -on -one. i'm looking forward to getting to know you um all right i think that's it we did I it i think so just about an yeah. hour perfect that that's good i think hopefully we kind of went over sort of how to find things and um yeah if you're if you have any questions just be sure to reach out i'm happy to answer questions um 
go ahead and do it in the chat of this video. It'll probably be the easiest place to do it and find me. Um, and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it and make sure that I'm there to answer any questions. All right. Again, if you are not part of our newsletter and want to be, um, go to Patreon and follow me on Patreon. Um, and I kind of showed how to do that earlier. Um, eventually we'll have the newsletter sign up. I think probably this week sometime, it's not going to take long. It's just, we just did not literally were up till midnight last night with Josh still, <laughs> still tweaking things and making sure that everything worked properly for everybody. That was the priority. So newsletter is next on the agenda. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Everybody um, for watching today. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye.